What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Trina. Again, something else. It's always something in it. That's what vlogging all about. For me to video, log, everything I do. Anyway, I am going to head out and about for a little bit today. Wasn't planning on going nowhere. Forgot I had a therapy appointment today with um, the mental health center. And y'all see my puppy dog in the back seat moving around. Because he about to ride with me to the P.O. box. Hello. Say what's up to the vlog. Bolo. That's my puppy dog, y'all. He keep me grounded. He like my ghetto therapy dog. But anyway, I just wanted to welcome y'all to this episode of Vlogmas. I know I ain't gonna be able to get a lot of footage of me at the mental health center, but at least I'll let y'all rock with me on my way there. And when I check in, I guess they're gonna probably make me turn my camera off. But anyway, I'll be back with y'all later. All right, post office run. Got that knocked out. Now, 
couple more errands before I uh, couple more errands before <clears throat> I go to my mental health appointment. Y'all don't know how bad I struggle. I can take my mask off now. I'm sorry. Y'all don't know how bad I struggle with keeping up with appointments and stuff that I be done obligated to. I didn't understand why I used to make excuses out of stuff. Even stuff that wasn't even that big, I don't make excuses to get out of. I didn't know that was a part of mental health, though. I just, I don't know. But once I get going to what I was scared to do, and for whatever reason, it'd be some kind of fear, anxiety, tie in with it. But I'd be so scared or nervous about anything things i've already done before appointments grocery store trips um family functions they just closed the taco bell two weeks ago and now um they tore it they tore it down they're tearing it down right now but anyway so yeah things that i've obligated myself to i sit there and try to find a way out of them I had got comfortable with um, the mental health appointments being over the phone because of COVID. Now they're back in the office and they're ready for me to come in the office and I'm having a moment about it. Sorry y'all, these people driving crazy today. But I'm having a moment and I set my appointment late. Normally my appointment, I like to go to the doctor and stuff like 9.30, you know, before lunchtime. But my son usually have my car through the day, so I and he get off like um, one, two o'clock in the afternoon. So I let them schedule this appointment face to face, three forty-five, and I don't feel like I'm ready. I've been doing uh, over the phone appointments all year. I just don't think I'm ready for face to face. But I'm going. I'm going. I was figuring if I made myself come out and run a couple of errands and bring my puppy dog out with me that uh, I'll feel better about coming out. And I will have a support person with me to take me to this appointment. So I have set up myself to have uh, accountability partners in certain stuff that I know I need to stop putting off or rescheduling and stuff like that. So. Setting up accountability partners help a lot because when you start to give up on yourself a little bit, you got that. But like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted twice. Um, when you have an accountability partner, it helps you to keep a boost behind you because when you start to give up on yourself or slack on yourself that accountability partner is like uh, a battery backup pack like it's gonna give you that boost so it's good to have accountability partners if you know if you can because I know some people um, have trust issues don't have friends or don't have close enough family or whatever you know some people single I don't know what to say about that, I'm sorry. But, um, just, I mean, it's best to try to find somebody that's close to you, close enough to you to kind of know your triggers or somebody you can teach about your triggers. That's why I picked an accountability partner who has been learning with me what some of my triggers are, what some of the resolutions would be, you know, best to be. So, I don't know. But I am going to go to my mental health appointment today. Um, I've had this therapist all year, but we've never met in person. We've only had over-the-phone appointments. We were supposed to have a virtual appointment, but um, something happened and we didn't get to have that appointment. But now um face-to-face -face and I got to face it, which we've had some good sessions over the phone. I don't know why I'm panicking. I have gotten um, comfortable with her. So, but I'm going to bring y'all along with me as far as I can. Meanwhile, me and my puppy dog on the way home because
because he can't go to the mental health center with me. Y'all see him chilling. Look at him on the back seat. I got the back windows down. He just loves feeling the breeze across his little nose. Bolo, say hey vlog. Bolo, say what's up vlog. See you. They see you. They see you, puppy dog. Y'all, that's my Bolo. He is two years old. He will be three in April. And he's a big sport baby. My girls have him sport rotten. I have him sport rotten. And we share him with their dad. So um, it's like I have joint custody of the dog with my ex-husband. <laughs> because we'll get him for weekends and holidays and whenever the girls are out of school. And then sometimes they'll just keep him when they feel like they just want him. And I really don't object to it unless he tears something up. Because he's therapy for me, although he is not. Uh, he does not have a therapy vest. I did check and he can be certified to be a therapy dog for me. But I don't trust him that much, y'all. I want a dog I can get on a plane with or, you know, travel with. I don't, yeah, I don't trust him that much. And he's just too big. So, I don't know. But anyway, I'll get back with y'all shortly. y'all so remember I told y'all I have a mental health appointment today with my therapist I am getting ready to leave the house and head there um I'm not excited because like I said we've been doing phone appointments so today is a face-to-face -face appointment but I'll take y'all as far as I can with me if not I'll get back with y'all afterwards and let y'all know how it went peace y'all i'm getting ready to head into the mental health center and probably gotta turn my phone off and all that good stuff but i'm gonna see what i can get hello i have an appointment with Brittany. what's your name katrina Okay, y'all, so I made it out the mental health appointment and it went great. Meet my therapist for the first time face to face went great. She gave me some acupuncture exercises to do to help with stress and anxiety and the personality switches and all that stuff. But anyway, so now I'm gonna get a bite to eat and I am at a place I ain't never been before. Copper River. My best friend um, told me about it. It's her favorite restaurant. But I'll let y'all see what I get. Going in, y'all. First time at Copper River. Let's see what it tastes like.
Thank you. Hey y'all, um, I forgot to close the vlog out yesterday after my mental health center appointment and my little dinner afterwards. 
um because it didn't turn out good um i guess i got my nerves all worked up because i had to go out and go in public and meet the therapist and all that stuff but anyway um i had horrible horrible stomach pains at copper river and then I uh, left there and went to Walmart and went in the bathroom and just sat for like 30 something minutes. And it hurt so bad. But I think it was just my nerves. I wasn't really producing anything. It just hurt so bad. And um, I kind of shut down. Uh, the whole ride home I shut down. And uh, got home and got situated and climbed in the bed. And I didn't get to close the vlog out. But. I'm going to close this episode out now because when my feet hit the floor, well, my feet already hit the floor, but once I'm out and moving today, I will have a new content. And hopefully, y'all will have a better episode, but y'all know, like I said, I'm just going to bring it to y'all raw and uncut. Um, I'm being transparent with y'all. So, um, if I didn't recap, let's say, I met my therapist face-to-face -face for the first time. All year, we've been doing over-the-phone appointments. Um, we did some breathing and acupuncture exercises, which were helpful at the moment. But I think because I had to work myself up to going face to face, um, I probably worked up bad guts. Mm, the rest of my day suck, and now I'm up at just five o'clock in the morning, looking crazy. So I guess I will cut, edit, and vlog. I will cut, edit, and post this vlog that I'm closing and then I will organize what I'm gonna be doing for the next few days of vlogmas because it's gonna get serious now because we're getting closer to Christmas I gotta get it together this is my first vlogmas though so I'm proud of having seven episodes posted and today is um, the 15th I thought I was gonna be doing them once a week but I've been squeezing some extra ones in there multiple times so um, but anyway, I just want to close this vlog out to thank you for tuning in. Um, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss any more videos that I post. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you for rocking with me this far and hopefully you keep rocking with me. Um, y'all pray for me. I look like I'm okay, but I am not. Okay? But anyway, I will see y'all later.